Hi. Another thing that I need to show how to do uh, for NixOS and setting up an SSH server on it, which is forwarding GUI packages or known as forward X org or X11 packages. Uh, all we have to do is to add the new variable. Yeah, variable if we can say to our configuration file, the main one for NixOS. We scroll down to. We don't need to scroll down. I just want to put things in the same place. That's it. So here next to OpenSSH services that OpenSSH display this one as you can see we're gonna add another one with the same thing dot forward x11 equals true semicolon save and exit and then we run the command that we always run which is sudo xos rebuild switch Oh, so it says that it has been renamed. Let's let's cancel and let's cancel and make it exactly the same way. So we just add here settings and forwarding. All right. So let's go back and change it the way they want. Settings dot like this. Settings. No problem. Because there are many cases where some syntax or some, uh, let's say, paths of some applications, as we have seen about the DNS, check the cards, I'll put that for you. That changes. It's normal between a version and another. So expect it to change like the complaint here. Let's do the command, this command again. I guess, yeah, there is a mistake for wording, yeah, the same mistake and the syntax. The F should be uppercase, if I'm not mistaken, like this, save and exit, run again. Or let's take it and put it. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got what they mean. I got, I get it. Uh, we should take that one and put it here in services that open SSH. All those arguments and those things that we have there, we have them in the same block, block of code. Okay, like this. Okay, that's what they mean. That's why we keep getting the error again and again. I hope this time it's gonna be correct. I guess like the first time we made it, it was correct, but it was like we say deprecated configuration that is changing, that is being like left behind, and another new configuration is taking its place. That's what it means. All right, so we are now on our uh, SSH server. We should exit because. This, this is without the configuration to uh, start the X applications or GUI applications. We should exit and then log in again and specify X or Y. Both of them are supposed to work. I did not put the password. You, sh you should check in the cut uh, video that I made about the passwordless connection to SSH uh, server on NixOS. That's why no password. Let's try to run Firefox. 
this is a safe way to, ra uh, to run X applications on your Linux machine that you that uses NixOS as a distribution. So one of the safe ways is to use this thing to, up to activate this option. So you can see that Firefox is running already. What else? What are the other applications that I can show you? This one is enough though. Yes. It's kind of slow every time I use it like this. It, it can be slow sometimes depending on many factors. Okay. You can see it working. Even my uh, SSH server, the machine that I'm using is not a new machine. It's an old machine that can cause this to be like this. Okay. It's the first time I run Firefox, that's why it, I got these two tabs. Let's close it. MPV, the video player. That's the, this is the command line, VLC. It, it's working as you can see. this yes okay that's enough I guess make sure you subscribe like share and comment I see the guys that are not subscribed watching without subscribing I, I prefer that you subscribe if you don't mind hope it's clear and see you